right there. Look at me. <laughs> well, I probably sound and look a little worse than I feel. My head's pretty clear. I'm getting over this little cold stuff last few days. But I'm still going to do some fishing. So I'm going to fish this little creek. I hope that I can find access to it. Hope that I can catch some fish. Wouldn't you know it, as soon as I got here, it starts to rain. But man, look at that water. That's just, it looks so good. Uh, I gotta try to fish a little bit, even if it's a cold, wet rain. Oh, that water's freezing. Oh my, there's a couple smallmouth right there. Wow, this water's crystal clear. I already see three smallmouth swimming in it, and they've, I'm sure, have already seen me. But the water's super cold. <laughs> I'm sure this isn't good for my, my health. a small mouth but I did get one sitting on the bridge or sitting under the bridge I'm just sitting on this pile of brush here oh, a little one. Uh, large mouth there's I've seen some in there they're three times the size I think small mouth but um look in the sea of this water it's just so clear two little fish around over there Oh, nice rock bass. Wow. That's a really long one. I, already, I caught two fish and I really thought I'd catch nothing. That's a pretty long rock bass right there. Real pretty fish. Really pretty eyes. I watched this little guy eat it. <laughs> That's cool. He came over, looked at it, and then boom, it was just gone. Little rock bass. That's funny. Oh yeah. Another one. Four. Uh, it's not a smallmouth. Another rock bass. But I'm really surprised I caught four fish sitting right here. Beautiful fish. These fish are so colorful. I like light, lighter color, not not real dark color. I guess this is a nice clear water. So I was just sitting right here on this log under the bridge, just trying to stay dry and do a little fishing. Caught four fish in like 10 or 15 minutes. Thought I wouldn't catch anything, but you never know. I'm gonna try hitting this other side, and I don't know what I'm gonna try to do today. All right, I'm gonna try to go upstream and fish just for a little bit, but I'm gonna stick this camera underwater here, and hopefully we get a good view of how clear the water is, but also how the different fish that are in there. Uh, it's so nice to see the colors starting to change on the leaves. You know, going through a creek like this, even though it's like 50 degrees and raining, still is pretty nice. Yes, yes, that's what I want. Not a giant, but just what I'm looking for. Awesome, awesome. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm gonna make sure my screen's clear because it's, it's kind of raining. There's my Middle Tennessee smallmouth that I was searching for. This creek is gonna stay with me all winter till I can come back next summer. It's just a beautiful place. And there's just loads of fish in there. I'm sure they're hard to catch, but I will definitely be back to try to find some more. There we go. Look at that, that is awesome. 
Awesome. Oh, that's a hit right there. Where's he at? What is that, a rock bass? <laughs> Look at that rock bass. Yeah, that's a rock bass, all right. Nice. There's one. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a. Uh, let's see here. Spot or large mass? Hold on. He was kind of in the slack water out of the way here. Uh, looks like a large mass. But it's still pretty chunky little fish there. Yeah. That hit like a small mouth. Let's see what it is. Yep, number two. All right, I'm probably not gonna go on much longer because just the way how wet everything is. But man, I've caught more fish than I originally thought when I got here. I thought it was gonna be like nothing. Pretty little guy. I'll take him every day. Rock Buster Cod has just been huge. It's not a tiny rock bass. It's nice. Oh, yeah. That's the first time I've had back to back fish in the same area another rock bass they kind of hang up together <laughs> nice these fish are like so bright colored too man for the day it is i can't couldn't ask for better results from what it started out or what it is a rainy cold fall october day yeah 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 yeah. Ooh, he's a fighter. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a, uh, is it a spot. Let's see here. Oh, looks like another large mouth. He's got some sores on him. A little bit right there. But he's pretty chunky. That's a nice little bass. All right, I'll made it back to the bridge. And got my camera back. I'll show whatsoever's, if anything interesting on it uh, at the end. But look at it now. Now it stopped raining. Now I'm trying to decide if I should go on downstream a little ways or not. What do you think I did? Of course I had to go downstream. Oh yeah, that's a small mouth. <laughs> yes sir. A little bit bigger too. That's the biggest small mouth of the day. Good decision. Right past the bridge. Down there under the bridge, man, there's just giants in there. I saw several, of course, it's in a real deep pool and they're usually not eating nothing or gonna hit nothing. Oh yes, nice. Yeah, there's one. I was just telling myself I should have caught something off this little area right here, little deep hole. The water's coming into it. 
and right then, smallmouth came out and hit it. I got it on a 1 16th head. Uh, well, I got it on a 1 16th ounce jig head. If I had it a little heavier, I cast a little further, but I like the light action it has. Here comes one, here comes one. A big one. Oh my goodness. He just snapped it off. I thought I had my drag set. That is a giant fish. Like three pounds plus. Man, people are gonna be mad that I showed that I lost a fish, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you because it's real, real fishing. I've done caught, I've already caught like I don't know, several fish on that other, on that swim bait. I saw this dark shadow come up, set the hook, drag started peeling, and boom, just snapped. Here comes one, here comes one. A big one. Oh my goodness. A big one. So seventh grade, 12, just turned 12 years old, the middle school basketball championship game. Um, I'd been the shooting guard all through the season, and the championship game, we're, place, we're facing off against this team that's supposed to be better than us. It's a tie game. I've been having an awesome game. Had At least I had five threes, I think. Had like 18 points total. Best game of the year for me. It's tied up, three seconds left. Coach calls a play. We're gonna set a couple screens. I'm gonna come out on the wing, get an open look for three, knock it down, win the game. So run the play, go through the screen, inbound the ball straight to me. I get an open, clean look, goes in, bounces around, and bounces out. Game goes to overtime, end up losing. That's exactly how I felt today when I missed that shot or missed that fish. Uh, it was like I, it was like a flashback uh, that game. Um, it's just funny how you think about things like that. I, I've thought about that shot so many times, you know. And I was only, you know, I was in seventh grade way back, you know. And you had to think about it a whole year till the next basketball season. You know, you got all that time to think about it. But um, whenever you lose a good fish like that, or whenever I do, I'm like, man, I had my chance. Not only did I lose a fish, but I also lost the opportunity to show it now that I'm trying to make videos. You know, I'm like, I could have showed that in a video, and that would have really made it help, I uh, think, made a good video. Sometimes things like that just happen. You know, I'm probably going to get a million people tell me what I did wrong. You know, I've, I've caught thousands of fish off that setup, and um, some pretty good sized ones, too. I'm definitely glad I got the fish there. If, if I'd have left before I lost that big fish, I'd have been even happier. But. I did everything right. It felt like, even though I had like a light colored shirt on, I'd use a mono line and clear water, all the things you're not supposed to. I was still catching all kinds of fish, still had a chance, and I had a big one hit my lure, and I had him hooked. Just, man, them things are strong. He just turned his head and jerked a couple times and snap, it was off. Well, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna try to get this video out pretty quick. This may be one of my last waiting in shorts videos um, for the years. It's, it's definitely starting to drop. It's been raining the whole way back home. I'm almost back to my house in East Tennessee. I got a couple other videos going to be coming out probably later that I did from fishing around there in Middle Tennessee. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go home now. Hopefully I'm going to delete or edit out all the sniffling and coughing that I've been doing. But I'm definitely going to head to the house. Thanks for watching.